Hey everyone, this is Zach with PC Simplest here, and today I'm going to do an upgrade to my MacBook Pro. So, recently I purchased an OWC data doubler. So what this is going to do is allow me to take out my optical drive, my CD drive, and replace it with basically a tool or component that will allow me to put a secondary hard drive in there. And of course it's going to be a solid state drive, because why not, right? So anyway, um, in this video, you're going to see me take out the optical drive in my MacBook Pro and put in this uh, OWC data doubler. So it's going to be a pretty exciting video. It's just going to show you step by step on how it gets done. And um, I'm excited for it because I need more storage for this bad boy. Stay tuned. Check it out. All right. So just started unboxing this thing and it's like an aluminum or a metal, I believe, probably more than likely aluminum. It's really solid and sturdy. Uh, it feels like I, I like it, the look and feel of it a lot. And this is OWC Otherworld Computing, uh, and they make this data doubler. I'll link to that in the description. And also in the box, it comes with some screwdrivers and stuff that you'll need to complete the process. So I don't want to take up too much time talking about it because let's, I just want to dive into it and get this thing taken apart. So we'll speed up these videos. I have three cameras going right now. And uh, you might hear me chime in from time to time. So I just want to get this thing started. So let's rock this bad boy out. Well, 
to me, it looks like we're good to go. Uh, the total time of, for this took me about 20 minutes to do, and that's give or take a little bit of uh, extra time because I didn't take the hard drive out of my other computer first. So, uh, about 20 minutes to put in the replacement uh, data doubler for the optical drive. So the next thing that we need to do is just go ahead, get our case back on, and power this bad boy back up and hope and pray that it works just fine. So we'll get the case back on. Obviously we've, we've sped up this video um, quite, a, quite a bit because this is a little bit of a timely process. But now that we're getting it back on, um, uh, you probably did see that I did run into a few difficulties and I had to take out the manual a couple times just because I wasn't sure where it was getting hung up at. I'm not the one to read a manual or uh, check out a video on some things that I generally think are going to be fairly easy to do, um, much like this video. I like to take things um, as they come and try to figure it out on my, on my own because that's the best way to learn and that's the best way to break things and that's the best way to learn how to fix them. And I will say that over and over again. So if you guys don't like the way that I do things, that's fine. But I find it the best way for myself to learn and to just develop skills. And if I break something, well, it's my own darn fault for not following the directions. And nobody to blame but myself. So this was kind of a, just a quick video that I wanted to do. It wasn't very thought out on my end, of course because I was really, really anxious to get this put in, but I said, you know, I should probably, I should probably make a video on how to do it. And it's not gonna be the best by any means, as I'm sitting here having difficulties getting a screw back in. But um, it, it gives you kind of a rough idea of how this process is supposed to go. And like I said, it wasn't too hard to do. It wasn't very difficult. Uh, there was definitely a few hangups in the process of putting it in, but nothing that the manual didn't fix with me just browsing to like three pages. It didn't take me long to find what my issue was, what my hangup was. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing. So have all the screws back on, everything is good to go. I didn't turn it on because I have a feeling it's just gonna work. So, Let's uh, power this thing on. We got we have we have sound, which is great, and it looks like it's booting. That's that's definitely a plus. Now we'll see how much further we get. Um, I did have Windows Seven and oh, there we go. It went actually right to my my Mac my MacBook uh, login screen. So anyway, uh, we will go ahead and close this out, and we're going to go to Disk Utility. I can't even type Disk Utility. And here we go. Here's our 123 gigabyte Samsung Solid State 840 series. And like I said, I know that it was used on my my PC, my actually my old Lenovo laptop, but uh, I don't need it anymore. So we can just erase it. We can erase it with uh, MS with the fat, and we're just going to name this. Um, let's cut. I always have a hard time naming my drives because I always want to name it something clever that I've never thought of before, but I never have luck with that. It's usually like backup or second drive. But this one I'm going to do a few different things on, so I'm just going to call it storage because that seems ideal. Let's go ahead and erase. Yeah, I, I don't think there was anything on there. I think I had a fresh install of Windows on that thing anyway from before. So no big deal. Did I miss something? No. So. Now I have a storage drive on here. We go to go, computer, and we should see, yep, Mac OS X and storage. And we should see get info on this. We have 120 gigabytes of usable data. And on my main OS here, let's see, I have 28 gigs of available data. So I was definitely pushing the limits on my current hard drive. So just having this backup storage is is really fantastic and honestly like I don't know it still feels kind of heavy this didn't really take away any of the weight to it but this was installing the um, OWC data doubler and I, I hope you guys found this video useful 
at least if anything, it provided some knowledge for you on the fact that if you have an older MacBook or you have any type of MacBook with an optical drive in it, you can replace that with one of these data doublers and double the storage on your system. And that's awesome because you're always going to run out of storage. That's just life. So anyway, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them in the comments below. I greatly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel, please do so. I appreciate you guys and I try to answer all of my all of your questions as often as I possibly can. Like I said before, if you have an issue with the way that I went through the installation of this data doubler, let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. For now, that's all I got. Take it easy.